Hi everyone, my name is Nikki Roberts and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing facial care. Now I haven't done a facial in such a long time and I feel like it's time. It really is time. Like if you see my face, it is not looking the best right now, although I'm cute. My face is not really looking the best and I, I'm really trying to <clears throat> up on my facial game so yeah as you guys saw in the unboxing that I just did in my last video um, I bought some new products so I'm gonna be trying them out today and see what's popping and how my face is looking after and such and such and such so let's get into it now the first thing I'm gonna do is they say that um, steam is very good for your face so I do have a steamer I did not just buy it I got it a while ago so is it on okay so I'm just just gonna let this heat up and I'm gonna show you guys um, products that I'm gonna be using so for my face wash I have the Aveeno ultra calming sensitive skin face wash face wash that's the Aveeno and I have the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. Of course, I'm going to be using that. I have a face brush that I just got. It's so cute. I just got it from the dollar store. There's two sides. Which is awesome. Okay, so my steam is going and I'm going to need to take it down and put it shit close to my face and just let that seep into my skin my pores whatever it is so before we start anything i'm gonna let nick zoom in on my face and you're gonna see what my face is looking like take it away nick I do have a lot of dark spots on my face as you can see here it looks like I have a contour which is dope but it's not I do have facial hair and also I do have spots on this side as well and also for my my forehead is there is spots but it's not it's not as bad as my my sides and for my nose I do have a lot of white heads or sebum buildup or whatever you want to call it so I do have like you know I can do like this it's probably gonna show up so this area is my problem area for like I could feel it I can feel them and it feels gross so I really want to help and get rid of that today so I'm gonna be putting on back my steam so I have this suction type of thing and I love using it on my nose that's the only that's the only place I use it on my nose so it is the Lux Skin. I got this for like $15 a long time ago. It's been, I think, a couple of years. So I'm gonna be using this just on my nose. So there is three um, setting. There's oily, there's normal, and then there's dry. So oily, normal, dry. But I'm gonna be using the oily. I'm gonna be using the oily section just to get my nose um, together because it really does help with getting all of the gunk off my nose, but most of the gunk off my nose. So we're gonna go in with this tool.
Can you see up in there? Right, it's just a lot. A lot of gunk and I like I love using this because it gets rid of most of whatsoever whatever is in my nose so yeah and the steam actually help and break down whatever and now my nose feels so much better like it feels better that's right okay So now that we're done with those, I'm going to be going in with my eyebrow razor. So I'm going to be going in with this and my Aveeno. Okay, this feels good. This feels so good. Oh my god, okay. I forgot to do one thing and it's my upper lip. So I'm, I'm going to do that right now. How do you think my face looks after that little cleansing brush dealt with it? Do you think it look better, clean and stuff? Yeah, okay. So the next thing I'm going to be using is this Caudalie um, Vinogetic C+. <laughs> it's a detox mask, tighten pores and removes excess oil. Um, I don't have a lot of oil, but I'm going to be using anyways. And I sh this is what this looks like. So I'm just going to be using this because, uh, yeah. I'm going to use my fingers in these. Okay, so that's what that's looking like. So it's clay masky. It looks like um, you know the different types of dirt. It looks like sand, really, like pink sand. So this is what my face is looking like. Uh, very, I feel like you can see the texture of my skin through this or I mean I don't know but I'm gonna wash this off and then we're gonna come back and you're gonna see what it's looking like um, my face is looking like so let's go so we are back and tell me do you think my face looks a little bit brighter because that's what it claims to do but yeah okay after one use but um my face does look good i can see some like, dry patches on my skin um yeah okay so if you don't if you didn't know i have dry skin like i'm sure you could probably tell because my face just looks so dry and if i don't cream it like it gets super dry and just looking all white and crusty like it's like it's starting to right now 
So let's use the ordinary products for the very first time. And I'm hoping that this would help with my with my dark spots. So let's Okay. Doesn't really have a smell, but it's it's going with it. Mm. And of course my face is raw so it stings just a little bit. Ooh, it stings a little bit. So now that's done. Um I do have this one from Caudalie Paris. It's a smoothing glow complexion beauty elixir. So I'm gonna spray this on my face. Oh, it smells great. It smells great. It smells like... It smells minty, kind of. So I have a little bit of a, like, minty smell to it. And it stings as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting some hyaluronic acid on my face. I probably shouldn't have put those two together. Cause now my face is like whoa my face is like what have you done are you gonna pick up the product or no thank you so for my hyaluronic acid i have the dead sea um collection anti-wrinkle facial serum in hyaluronic acid was a doozy that was a doozy that's that and then I have this niacinamide and zinc serum also it's almost finished like I got this for ten dollars at winners and um, I've been using it I said there's niacinamide in there but they say niacinamide helps with dark spots and stuff or maybe I'm mistaken because um, I haven't seen a change since I've been using it but still have it still using it until it is done and I might just try something else so yeah, this is what my face is looking like right now and I'm so freaking happy that I did this facial because my face looks better. It looks cleaner to say the least. Now I'm just going to put these eye patches on under my eyes. I don't know if you can tell, but I have bags, right? I mean, you can't really tell right now, but sometimes they're so so big it's insane anyways this was in my fridge so it should be cold oh yeah uh -huh, uh -huh. it is it is cold And now for my, I use the Dead Sea Collagen Anti-Aging um, Day Cream. Also have the night cream. I'm just going to put just, I don't want too much. For my lips, we have the trusted Blistex. Medicated Blistex, so... That's what I use for my lips. And I find that it really helps with just keeping my lips moisturized and 
all that good stuff. So, yeah. I don't know why this is ready now. And the last thing I'm going to be using is just some oil on my face. Um, this is not a face oil, it's a body oil. But, uh, you know, so, yeah. I just put two drops. It is a vitamin E oil. Oh. I just smash it in my face. So this is what my face is looking like after all of that. And I like to do my facials because then I see a big difference. I do see a difference because then it's, you know, and it gives me like a boost of confidence when my face is looking a little bit put together so that is my day-to-day -day type of thing okay so I know I'm missing something I'm missing maybe like a vitamin C or a better um, niacinamide um, product or some other products that's gonna be good for my face and help me with dark spots and you know just get my face looking together because this is just not it. It's not working for me anymore. And yeah, so let me know your suggestions on vitamin C. What do you use? If you use any, what do you think I'm missing in my skincare routine? And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. So thank you, stay blessed, and I'll see ya. Peace. Bye, guys.